former head of Palestinian security for Yasser Arafat, Jabril Rajoub has been a leading figure in Palestinian political life for many years. His activities got him sentenced to life imprisonment in Israel, and he was later deported for his role in the first intifada. Now he heads up the Palestinian Football Federation and Palestinian Olympic Committee. Rajoub sees football as one of the tools available for achieving an independent Palestinian state. I am looking for national achievements. I want to expose my cause through the promoting uh, men and women football. I want the whole world to see Palestine through sport eyes. His greatest investment has been in the national women's team. Shouldering much of this responsibility is midfielder Jacqueline Jaswari, known to everyone as Jacko. Here's my favorite window, the favorite view. I can see uh, half of Jerusalem, not a settlement there. And here is Beit Jara, the place where I live and I uh, work in school. I love this country, yeah. You can see also um, from here Bethlehem, and here is Beit Jara, and there we have Jerusalem. We just see Jerusalem without going there. <laughs> oh, I will not take this one, will I? Allah. I'll take everything. Yalla, going to training. The women are training on a small pitch near Jacko's home in Betjala, in the occupied West Bank. Practicing in Ramallah would mean trying to cross the Israeli wall. We have some girls from uh, Jerusalem, from Jenin, from Jericho. We have checkpoints. Uh, really hard. I, I love dignity. If I know that there will be Israeli soldiers, I will not go this way. I can't let anyone scream on me or tell me, don't go from here, go from here. I don't like this. But this often stressful ordeal is sometimes unavoidable when pursuing their wider aim, international recognition. Football is one of the uh, elements to achieve the statehood and the nationhood. And I do believe that we are achieving through a friendly international game rather than anything else. The team is in Jordan to complete for a place in the 2012 London Olympics, and the pressure is on for the women of this aspiring state to prove themselves on the pitch. We are here to represent Palestine and not ourselves only, so we have to win uh, with our team spirit for our uh, country. <laughs> When I was active in the resistance, we were fighting together, men and women. And I think that the Palestinian women contributed to the Palestinian resistance, to the Palestinian cause, not less than men. The score was 1-1, uh, one, one, uh, and it's, uh, it was a really amazing uh, game, because they saw really uh, great results from us. The team didn't qualify for London, but heading back to Palestine, just playing abroad as a national squad felt like victory enough. Here is our goal you know, to make us uh, far away from other people. And that's why we are uh, going outside, uh, representing our uh, country in the best way ever. So we are really happy for that. We can do something from nothing, despite this fact. We are facing it and we resist it. One day it will be removed. Palestinian girl is not like uh, other girls in uh, the whole world. The Palestinian girl is a defender and the fighter also. Like Nadine and Sarab when they play outside. We had in the championship a nickname for our team. We just said that, hey girls, we have to win in this game. We are the fearless tigers. The fearless tigers of Palestine.